hello everyone welcome back to another short tutorial video today we are going to set up a PPPoE connection on Cisco 1841 router usually when you attend an interview the interviewer asks you whether you can set up a PPPoE connection and if you say no then mostly his reaction would be something like this just kidding so without wasting further time let's get started so let me get you familiar with the router configuration I'm going to run show run as you can see nothing has been currently configured on the router other than the console which makes it life easier I will be uploading another video where I will be sharing the tips and tricks on how to set up a router or a switch so I will be using show IP interface brief as you can see the interfaces which are uh, which we are using today is fast ethernet and later we will have a virtual interface uh, which will be used for the PPPoE connection. I will be using show IP route so it is empty so let's get started now let us set up the uh, PPPoE connection so config T we need to create a virtual dialer interface and to do that we will say interface dialer 1 We will say IP address so normally we use DHCP for assigning the input but however with PPP we are going to use the negotiated option so now with the negotiated it will not give you the default gateway so there's another command which we can use either a static route or the PPP command for the default gateway so next we want to create the encapsulation so we will use PPP authentication PAP as my ISP uses PAP uh, which will use the clear text for authentication by default if I press enter here it will do the bi-directional authentication even though it is in the clear text format it will try to authenticate with the ISP and the ISP will try to authenticate back which is not the case here I don't want my ISP to authenticate back so my ISP only requires that I authenticate with them and that's it so in that case I will have to use Colin next we have to set up the username and password so this username and password will be given by the ISP Next we want to set up the default route so we will say PPP IPCP route default so now we have to tie the virtual dialer interface with the physical interface so to do that we need to create a profile name so we'll say dialer pool 10 now this number should match in the ethernet interface so next we will do is no shut and exit so I will go back to my interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 I would say no IP address so our address will be associated with the PPP interface that we will uh, that we have already created so we do not want IP on this interface I will have to enable PPPoE uh, so I will type PPPoE enable uh, the next command is PPPoE client dialer pool number 10 uh, we need to match this dialer pool number so again you would say no shutdown so that should be it uh, as you can see that the interface is coming up now uh, so let's do a show IP interface brief there we go we have the dialer interface which is in up up state uh, let's do a show IP route The default route is set so let's do a ping uh, we are getting a successful reply so that's how you set up a PPPoE connection with Cisco router now if you try to ping from your NPC you wouldn't have much luck uh, you won't be able to do uh, so because still we need to configure NAT so I'll cover up the NAT section in another video thank you for watching and see you next time